right, everybody, thank you, and, and um, I'm so excited to be here today. So um, let me just start with this. My name is Yamoka Rodriguez, like you heard, but I call myself the brand therapist. And I'll tell you a little bit about why I call myself the brand therapist. So this is all about the art of creating fame. Who here wants to become famous? Yes! yes. And we should all want to become famous. So let me tell you what fame is. Some people are like, well, you know, I'm not a celebrity. Why do I want to become famous? It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. It's about what is the impact you want to have in the world today? What is it that you want to show and communicate in this day and age? And the most important thing a lot of us have talked about is going from the unconscious mind to the conscious mind. So let me tell you a little bit about how you do that. Um, There you go. No one hates it. No one really loves it. Okay? We've got to be ourselves in this world. Because if not, guess what we are? We are vanilla. Right? If we want to please everybody, what kind of ice cream do we bring to the table? Vanilla ice cream. Right? Because that way nobody really hates vanilla ice cream. Nobody really loves vanilla ice cream. So we just stay in the flow. The important thing is to differentiate ourselves, right? To be who we are. No, not everybody's going to love us, but that's okay. We want to attract those that really love what we do. And from a psychology standpoint, I'm going to teach you how we do that today. Now, oh, this is the wrong way. <laughs> um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. I have many fame stories, but I'm going to tell you about the fame story that got me here today. So I started in corporate, and I worked for Procter & Gamble for a long time, over a, a, about 15 years. And yes, I got to travel the world, meeting uh, amazing people. But when I left Procter, I lost my identity. I was a corporate person, you know? I got to, I had big budgets. I managed agencies, right? And then all of a sudden, I was nothing, right? How am I gonna reinvent myself as an entrepreneur? I didn't even know that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. But I thought, how hard could this be, right? So I went into the thing I loved. So I tried to do fashion. And I went and decided to do a fashion show. And I was new in this new city. I had just married a Brit and in Louisville, Kentucky, right? I'm, so I moved to Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm trying to make connections and connect, because I'm like, I'm doing this fashion show no matter what. And so I started connecting with the developer, and I said, you know, I have this idea about doing this fashion show. And he's like, good luck. I don't see you pulling that off. And I was like, okay, sure. I didn't say anything, but then I was more determined at that point to make this happen. So I started making connections, and guess what? I had 300 people show up to my fashion show. I decided to do it in the art museum, in the modern art museum. I wanted to give the individuals in the show the opportunity to show their wares, to show how they could become famous in this opportunity. So just imagine, lights off, music playing, models running down the runway, this amazing, beautiful feathered dress. Everybody's like in the show. And it, I just, all I could say was like, mom and dad, I made it. <laughs> So it was just a really incredible moment for me. And, I, and then everybody in the city knew me now. They all knew this is the fashion girl, go to her, she knows this. They still call me today, although I don't do that anymore. COVID kind of cut it off. But um, they, they still call me to say, hey, do you know um, how I can get here? And they still remember me. 
So fame becomes when you decide to bring your identity, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the problem is, how might we leverage fame in the fame economy? And you might ask yourself, what is the fame economy? Well, fame economy is the economy we are in right now, right? Social media, anybody can be famous, right? We have all the channels, everything that we want to do. But how do we leverage that? How do we use that in today's world when everybody's on social media? How do we stick out as an individual? So there's a few things that I like to tell people in what they need to do. We're going to do the five steps of fame, but before that, we need to understand how we up-level our brand, okay? And the first thing we need to know about ourselves is the strategy part. What's your mission, vision, and values? What's your brand character? Do you guys know your brand character? Well, you better know it because that is who you are. Then you need to know what's your brand differ differentiation or brand positioning. And then the last one there is you really, really need to know your super fan. Okay? Because if you are this individual, the opposite of that is your super fan. Now, a lot of people will say, no, my avatar is my, you know, myself now that I'm like, you know, powerful or whatever. No, I'm here to tell you your, your avatar is the opposite of you. Because those are the people that are going to be attracted to you. Those are the people that are like, I don't know how to do this. Can you help me do this? Because when you get people who are like you, and yes, we will attract like likes, people who are like you will be like, ah, I think I can do that. But the people who are not like you are going to be like, just take over. I want you to do that for me. And that's, we have to be very clear. We have to be service oriented. How do we serve? We have to know who they are. We can't, we need to show who we are, but also message in their understanding, right? Have empathy for our super fan. The second part is the ethos. So the ethos, ethos part is execution, right? How do you show up in an executional way? So we need to do brand guidelines. What's your logo look like as a person, right? What is your templates? All your templates, visualization, they have to be amazing because you want to portray that persona of who you are, not just through what you look like, but what your assets look like, your website. Your website is your brand. What are you showing up and how are you showing the brand that you are, okay? And then we go into photography. You can't hide, okay? You can't hide behind the camera. You are an individual. Show up in your brand identity and take pictures. And, and that is you want people to see you because they want to recognize you. It's like, oh, I know this person. I know who Carissa is, right? She looks like this and then they recognize you. Oh, oh let, let me talk to you. I want to talk to you. So you need to show up and pictures are critical. And not, you know, show up. You have to show up in your embodiment, in your brand character, okay? And the last one is the message. The message piece is what is your story? What is your brand story? What are your speaking topics? What are your topics about? What it, if I'm going to put a press release out on you, what do you want people to know? And also a media kit is important. Like we're all here speaking. So what is your media kit about and what is it that you want people to know about you? And that full circle is your brand personality, is the entire pieces of the brand. Now, this is not about <coughs> cloning. Right? We have a logo and we clone, 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 clone. No, this all comes together as a beautiful execution of who you are as a person. Okay, let me tell you now, we're going to talk about the five steps to fame. Okay? The number one, oh, well, the five steps. Let's look at the five steps. So the first one is what I call the fame essence. What is your true essence? What is your brand character? What is your fame character? That's the first thing. 
And in a second, I'm going to share with you how to really discover that through archetypes in Jungian. Then we're going to talk about a fame character. Then we're going to talk about the audience connection. What is that super fan? How do you connect to that individual that is attracted to your message? Then we have taking action. We all talk about taking action, but taking action is the execution of that. Right now you have a brand character, you have a super fan. How do you execute on your personal brand? And then the last one is fame. And what is fame all about? Fame is about having an impact. So now you know your message, now tell people about it. And how are you going to grow that and celebrate that, right? A lot of times we get to the next level of our business and we forget all that we've accomplished and we don't celebrate. We just want that next level. So just take that moment every day and be grateful for where you are in that moment. Okay, so let's go with one. I always talk about the brand assessment when I'm gonna share it with you with just a second for you to know. But we are really, so I talk about archetypes. Archetypes is how we find out our brand essence that really innate piece of us, our foundation. So what are archetypes all about? There's 12 of them that I use and they're the yang yang archetypes. Because a lot of people say, okay, now that I know my archetype, um, are you a psychic? I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 I don't, I'm not a psychic. This is who you innately are. The problem is that we do it unconsciously, right? And this is not anything new. This, marketing people do this all the time, agencies use this, Hollywood uses it to make the movies. I can point, pinpoint and say, this is a caregiver, this is an outlaw, right? We just saw an outlaw here on stage just a few seconds ago, Carissa, right? <laughs> she, she breaks every convention because she wants to do things her way and differently. And so, so we need to understand that essence. Just really by understanding those little human behaviors, we can create our brand. So let's go to, um, to the first one. So we talked a little about, about the, for the fame character. Now we really need to understand that essence, but what happens when we don't, right? People misunderstand us. They think that we're heck of a guy, right? Who is this person? One day she's this, and then the next day she's that, and then the next day she's that. I want to know who that individual is every single time. Be consistent because what happens is we don't look, do it consciously and def, all of a sudden we are a different person on stage or we talk in a different way. The tone of voice of your message is critical. What is your tone of voice? Do you know what your tone of voice is so you can be consistent every time. How do people connect with you and trust you every day? They cannot trust you or do business with you if they don't know that true essence, that piece of you that you are driving consistently over time. Know your audience. We talked about this. This is the part where we talk about super fan. Okay? So once you know your brand character, there's an opposite to that, right? So if you're, if you're an outlaw, the opposite to the outlaw is creator. And really understanding that super fan deeply, how will you message them? How are you gonna attract them? Focusing the message. We are always scared to say, well, you know, I wanna attract everybody in the world. No, 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 no. We have to attract that individual that loves everything we do that loves us without making it difficult. Have you ever had a client that you had to actually fire? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that you wanted that client, somebody was here, you wanted that client and you gave them a discount so you could have that client and then you're like, oh my God, what am I thinking? I just wanna fire them, right? Because you didn't show your true personality, you attracted the wrong individual. But when you show your true personality, you attract those individuals to you. And when you tell them your price, they're like, all right, you got it. Because I know that you can help me. 
You're not fighting for that price anymore. Your value has elevated. So it's very important to understand who that super fan is. And if, oh, so okay, we go to the next one. Um, so if you don't, what'll happen? What we just said, right? So it's so critical to know your super fan and service them. Uh, four. So the fourth one is taking action, right? Now that we know who we are consciously, we know our super fan, now we need to take action and we need to create and execute our templates so we can show and elevate our brand. You know, the other day I was on online and somebody was trying to sell me something and I go look at their profile and I was like, there's no way I would work this with this person. I mean, they don't, they don't have a message, they don't have a brand, they don't, they, I look for them and there's nothing there. Why am I going to work with somebody who I can't even find or their things look messy and organized? We need to show up executed at an elevated form everywhere we are, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, right? TikTok, whatever it is that we are. And then when we're here presenting, our presentation should be reflective of our level and our brand. Our logo should also reflect that. So everything around our photography, everything needs to have what I call the brand ecosystem. It needs to live within your brand ecosystem. And the last one is fame. That's how we get to fame. This is how we get to impact. This is how we get to have an impact. Now, when we have all those things, we know ourselves, right? We know our super fan. We are now executing correctly. We're taking action. We now can be famous and have an impact in the right way because it's not just about making money. It's, it's about how can we help other people get to where we are so we can elevate everybody with us. Yes. And yes. that is how we have an impact. So I do want to share with you a, just a few things to remember. Be consistent, right? That's really critical. Visibility. Be visible, your picture, show up consistently. And then the last one is frequency. Don't just show up once, right? Carissa says it every day. She works seven days a week, right? You be consistent. It doesn't matter how you're going to be consistent, but just decide and then commit and be consistent. And so I have the, if we go to the last slide, um, begin your fame story. If you want to know your brand character, you can come here and just do the quiz and find out who your brand character is and you can come and see me. And the last thing I'll leave you with is I just published my book, <laughs> The Brand Therapist. And all the answers are right here. I have all the brand characters here as well. They have, uh, they're defined. You can find it um, on Amazon. Um, and if you're here in Europe, you probably want to get the, um, the, 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 digital, the digital version of it. So thank you. Oh, oh, one more thing. I am going to give away a free copy. Yes, please. I will be, whoever gets to me after the talks, I don't want to mess anything up, will get a free copy today. Thank you. We have time for one question. Okay. One question. Okay. Any questions? Yes. Biggest mistake that entrepreneurs make when they come to you? Like they've already made this mistake and now they come to you as the authority. What, what do you see as the biggest common mistake? Uh, so the biggest mistake I see is they come to me without really knowing who they are. And they've already spent a lot of money on logos and different things. And they're not extremely happy. And I'm going to tell you why they're not happy. It's because that person didn't take the time 
to understand their essence. When you understand, I, when I work with my clients, I want to understand them fully so I can represent them adequately. I don't want them to copy me. I don't want them to copy somebody else. I want them to be who they are. And so I have to start over and yes, it's probably not, not fun for them, but it just help, it's just a beautiful thing to see how an individual can go from here to here by just really knowing their, their initiative back at it. Thank you for that question, Chris. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me put this here. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah,